This is the 10th year of the All-American Indian Shootout here at First Center State Arena. Now eight tribes from across Montana and North Dakota made their way to Billings this weekend as this tournament pays homage to the Crow Agency All-Americans, the state AAU champions in 1941-42. They were like role models. Everybody looked up to them and it just kind of built up through the years and this event now is more or less based on uh, in honor of them. This weekend is all about the student athlete and showing them, uh, you know, the sportsmanship and uh, camaraderie and then um, competitiveness, being, being a competitive player. And so this weekend's all about that. And then we throw a little bit of halftime entertainment in there, like culture and, you know, singing and dancing, and because that, that, that's who we are. Both Billy and Sean had fathers on that legendary Crow Agency team. And they see the importance this weekend centered around native basketball culture and the history of that championship squad. It's fast breaking and up tempo basketball. And uh, that's the flavor of the Indian basketball is up tempo and exciting. And, you know, so, some of them have plays and some of them don't. They just play basketball. Within the schools, you know, a lot of people uh, tell stories about the team. And uh, it carries on and uh, it sure motivates the kids, you know. Life is bigger than basketball, though it does provide an avenue of hope for so many. And that Crow Agency Championship team changed the tenor and expectations, both on and off the floor. Uh, most of them are World War II veterans, and so I, I, went, I went to the military myself too, so it's kind of uh, what they set the standards in as a family, you know, so you kind of, kind of go for it. So. Yeah. The show rolls on Saturday morning as the three-day Hoops Fest comes to a close inside First Interstate Arena. In Billings, Alec Boffinger, MTN Sports.